Oh boy, here we go. What's going on guys? It's your boy James here, Beards of Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to be addressing a comment that somebody left me before, which is basically, what do I think about the two different ways that you could trim your beard versus Dan C's ways versus Scuba's way? This is just my opinion, guys, right? So I know what he's talking about when he's saying this, and I'm fixing to get right into that. You can take your trimmers, guys. A lot of people use uh, scissors and just cut the bottom up. We're not talking about scissors here. We're just talking about trimmers, right? So you could take your trimmers, you could just cut the bottom and not touch anything else. Or you could take your uh, trimmers and cut in to the sides like this in the front and just kind of cut down like that and shape your whole beard. So this is what we're getting into. So whenever I first started growing my beard, I wasn't sure how long I was going to grow it or what shape or style or anything like that I was just growing. I would actually come in and cut the sides of my beard like this and... Uh, shape it up like that all right so this is basically the way that scuba does his beard and dan is like me and i actually like to just cut the bottom i really don't like to mess with this right here okay and i'm going to tell you why so if you're going if you're going for a long beard you really don't want to mess with this a whole lot you really just want to trim the bottom get rid of some of them split ends dead ends nice health trim and that's it and let it continue to grow you don't really want to tamper with the sides uh, because it can just cause a lot of um short hairs and what it'll do is if you cut in if i was to take right now and turn this on and cut just in the sides what it would do is i wouldn't have this length all right what i would have is a more textured look right here and it would be short and textured i would still have length if i didn't touch the bottom down here but if i cut straight in the sides here it would be a textured look and then kind of long from the length under here being long so what i do personally is i do like dan does i take my trimmers i cut just the bottom shape that the way i want it and I leave all of this alone. Now, versus Scuba's way, he cuts straight into his beard like that and shapes it, all right? The reason behind this is if you were to do your beard like this and you um, had just a nice, uh, I don't want to say short beard, but not a long beard, just a medium length beard. And you were the type of person who wanted to get up in the morning, slap some oil in and just kind of comb through it. That would be all you needed to do because you're using your clippers and you're shaping your beard at a kind of like a messy state, not a uh, blow dried or styled uh, state like mine is right now. It's kind of just like what it would what it would look like if you just ran a brush or comb through it and just let it uh, fluff to where it wants to sit, and then you would go back and cut your trimmers and shape that just like a bush, man. You would shape that hedge to the way you know you'd want it to look, and that's the same thing he's doing with his beard there. That way he can get up in the morning, uh, put his oil in or comb through it, brush through it, whatever he wants to do, then slap some oil in. And that's all he's got to do. There's really no need to uh, do a lot of blow drying or heat brushing or anything like that. Just comb through it real quick and that's pretty much it. So that's the reasons why people cut their beard different. I personally like to take the clippers, cut just the bottom of my beard and let all this grow from here to down here, one long length and that's it. Every once in a while, I'll come in here and I'll blend just this area right here up. So this may be just a little bit shorter from here to here, and that's it. But I don't go tampering with any of this really. Um, every once in a while, there may be an occasion where I try to, maybe some little flyaways or something that just don't want to look right. But I don't really tamper with the sides of this or the front at all. Um, like I said, every once in a while. But the reason being is I want to grow for length and trim just the bottom, nice maintenance trim, and try to maintain this length and not tamper with the look I have because I don't mind going and running a blow dryer and a comb through it at all. So if you were to just want to get up in the morning, comb through it real quick, and you don't need the nice straight look, you just want a more natural look, that's when you would do like scuba style when he cuts into the beard and actually shapes it just like a hedge, shapes his beard like that, and you don't have to worry about doing all the blow drying and heat brushing because it pretty much sits um how he wants it because he shaped it like that you know you would get up brush a comb or a brush through real quickly however you want it to look kind of fluff it out like you would um let it sit in its natural state and then from there you would come in take the clippers and trim and shape it like you want it and then brush through it and make sure that's what you want and then when you get up in the morning you don't have to mess with all that other stuff uh blow dryer heat brush and all the other stuff that can go in between there to try to shape it like mine because you shaped it just with a brush and this and it should sit like that and that's the reason that they do that so i hope this answers your question like i said i trim just the bottom or i try to and let all this grow for length because i want a nice long healthy looking beard 
and that's it. I pretty much just trimmed the bottom. So I hope that answers the question on this topic and uh, helps somebody out. And with that being said, see y'all in the next one.